Angel Reese has had a fairly impressive rookie season, but there is still a lot of room for improvement in her game, especially in her ability to finish around the basket. Fans are seriously questioning her basketball fundamentals as she has an atrocious ability to finish around the basket with efficiency. She is shooting a horrific 40.2% from the field, and is even shooting below 50% on shots less than 5 feet from the basket, and is shooting a terrible 13% on shots 5 to 9 feet from the basket. Some of these layup attempts are really bad, and a lot of these layup attempts aren't even hitting the rim and she's within 3 feet of the basket. And it's not something that has happened once, it has happened multiple times. 13 instances to be exact in this video alone. So let's get into it. In the first game of her career, Angel Reese in the Chicago Sky took on the Dallas Wings, and everyone was anxious to see what Reese was capable of. But it didn't take long for Reese to show her lack of finishing ability. DallasWings.com to learn more. Beautiful dish inside, no, Suarez can't come up with it. Look at this, a wide open look and the shot didn't even touch the rim. Maybe the nerves were kicking in in such an important game of her young career, but I don't think there are many professional basketball players capable of shooting so poorly in such a situation. But unfortunately, it was not the only low light in that game. In the fourth quarter, Angel catches the ball at the top of the key and attacks the rim, but it looks like she forgot to jump at the end. Good to eat. Good to eat by Casey. A little head fake. Reese, flick of the wrist. Air ball again. No. McCowan takes it away. Still loose. Look at how she decides to finish the play. A brick layup and then catches her own rebound and hits the bottom of the rim. Angel has been missing layups like this all season long, and it's the main reason why her field goal percentage is as low as it is despite playing close to the rim. Another example, this time against the Las Vegas Aces. The Sky do a good job on defense and get out in transition. Kennedy Carter does a good job also finding Reese, but she misses a wide open layup again. And Reese breaking up that pass. Kennedy Carter feeds Angel Reese. Can't finish. I know there are tens of thousands of women who don't play pro basketball who would have made that layup. Or this play also from the game against the Wings, where Reese does something completely inexplicable. Give me the rock, because this is my time. Enrique's so got 18. Off the glass, no. Reese the rebound, Maddie Segrist got a piece of it. She grabs the offensive rebound like the great rebounder she is, but then tries to do a reverse layup like Kyrie. And well, after catching the ball again, she's rejected in one of the worst ways possible. Her problem with finishing in the paint has gotten so bad that fans are accusing her of missing on purpose. No, no, I'm not exaggerating. Angel Reese broke the record for the most consecutive double-doubles in WNBA history, but fans believe she's grabbing her own rebounds on purpose to stat pad. And I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I mean, some of these layup attempts are just horrible. Take this example, which is even more ridiculous, where Angel misses up to three shots in a matter of seconds against the Washington Mystics. Or this is her third game back from that shoulder injury. And good defense inside by Maisha Hines Allen there on Reese. Reese got the second attempt. Gonna try for a third one, blocked by Dolson. As Allen couldn't get it to go. I don't think anyone doubts her ability to rebound, but those rebounds have to be useful in some way, right? Her shot selection is simply too weak. That's her problem. In the game against the stacked New York Liberty, Reese was being defended by none other than the 2023 MVP, Brianna Stewart. And well, she decided that the best option was to attack her off the dribble. Stewart plays good defense, but Angel throws up a horrific layup attempt. It's just happening way too often. The Arsabali comes in. Here's Reese at the elbow. Trying to go through multiple defenders, Sabali hauls it down. And she really loves to try that kind of layup from the right, trying to get the ball out from underneath. But she just doesn't have that kind of move in her bag. 
and this poor shot selection is easy to see time and time again. In the game against the Mystics, Angel gets in good position, makes it hard for herself, then misses the shot, grabs the rebound, and goes back to trying a desperation shot instead of passing the ball. Mabry time to add to it. Got Allen on the move, on the kick to Reese, she comes middle, does not go, fighting for the rebound. Her four teammates have their arms up in the air at the same time because they don't understand how she can have such tunnel vision. Notice literally all of her team is calling for the ball at once. Now this, just look at this miss. This has to be the worst one yet. Angel grabs the offensive rebound and is wide open under the rim. She decides to try and finish in the air rather than taking her time to fall to the floor and finish the layup with ease. I mean, the defenders are watching instead of trying to do something because they think the basket is inevitable. Ten turnovers for the sky here tonight. Elizabeth Williams, Angel Reese. First opportunity not there. But Reese misses and catches her offensive rebound. Maybe that double-double theory isn't so far off the mark. Because if it's not, what do you make of this? In the biggest game of the year against Caitlin Clark in the Indiana Fever, Angel received a spectacular entry pass that left her alone again. And she doesn't only miss the wide open layup, but bricks it. Then she managed to catch her own rebound, pivot multiple times, and then throw up a prayer that will never go in. Good, come alive in the second half. Oh, Indiana's loss the other day to Seattle went four for six from three in the game. But it doesn't end there. The compilation of missed layups by Angel can last for hours. Again, in that game against the Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark, Reese had another catastrophic miss. And this one might be the worst in the video. She does the right thing by running right to the opposing block and receives a pass where she receives the most wide open layup opportunity I've maybe ever seen and then completely whiffed it. Up for Clark. You're, you're, you're more used to be on the floor is probably what she said. Reese can't get it. The two most concerning parts about Angel is that she's showing an inability that even middle school basketball players have. She cannot finish with both hands and she simply has zero touch around the basket. Finally, in this game against the Sparks, this layup took the prize for the worst missed layup I have ever seen. After a spectacular off-ball screen, the defenders don't switch and Angel gets a completely wide open layup attempt underneath the basket only to miss the easiest shot of the whole season. All right, a set play here. Let's see who gets their number call. Even with this, let me repeat it. Angel's contribution to the Chicago sky is important. In fact, she's above average in almost every advanced stat line. Her net rating is plus 7 points per 100 possessions, her PER is 19.3, her win shares on both offense and defense look good, but for some reason, she is not nearly as efficient as she could be. Now Reese is a rookie, and she has her whole career ahead of her to improve her touch under the rim, but these missed layup attempts are areas of her game she needs to work on. But what are your thoughts? Are we being a little too harsh on Angel Reese and her missed layups, or is it completely valid to criticize her finishing ability around the rim? Let us know in the comments below.